this is chapter number 4 climate we are discussing so this is indian monsoon monsoon are nothing but seasonal winds and they reverse their direction of flow with the change of season the climate of india is strongly influenced by the monsoon winds so what are the factors that affect the mechanism of indian monsoon first is the differential heating and cooling of land and water create low pressure on land while the sea experiences the high pressure that means that when we whenever we have uh, the land area the land area says this region tibetan plateau so this region land area it heats up quite well and it heats quite early and also it takes no time to cool down while this sea area they take a lot of time to get warm and also a lot of time to get colder and if there is differential heating that means if the if this tibetan plateau is quite quite hot and this area say this region is quite not that much hot at this one so there will be a differential there is a difference in the temperature and because of the temperature because of various other aspects the air will start moving and that is how the monsoon comes because monsooning is nothing but the moving winds then shifting of itcz we have discussed about this intertropical convergence zone itcz over the ganga plain during summers so the itcz because normally the equator is here so there is a direct sunlight but because of the tilt in our axis this itcz reaches here sometimes here sometimes here so when it reaches here this is the place where we have the lot of heat mostly the sun rays are directly here so this becomes quite hot the because of becoming hot there is a differential or differential temperature between this area and this region the intensity and position of high pressure area towards the east of madagascar approximately at 20 degrees centigrade so we have this 20 degree latitude so we have this madagascar area and here we have this region so this is around 20 this is 0 30 so this 20 so this is the latitude which we are talking about so the intensity and position of high pressure area so we have a high pressure area towards the east of the madagascar approximately at 20 degree over the indian ocean affects the indian monsoon this affects the indian monsoon because this is now the high pressure area this because itcz is there so it is highly heated this tibetan plateau is highly heated the warm air have already gone up so now this is a region of low pressure so this high pressure region this low pressure region now the air has to flow from here to here and these are the westerly winds when these westerly winds or you can say the trade winds sorry not westerly winds these are the trade winds westerly winds are here this one this one this one these are the trade winds so when they trade winds they crosses the northern uh, means the equator so in the northern hemisphere they are also pointed towards the this low pressure area so the heating up of this tibetan plateau this region in summers creates a low pressure area about this plateau so we have a low pressure area here so the movement of the westerly jet streams that is these westerly jet streams these westerly jet streams to the north of the himalayas this north of the himalayas and the presence of the tropical easterly jet stream over the indian peninsula here during the summer see this is the this is the stream we are talking about these are the easterly tropical easterly jet stream over the indian peninsula during the summer so there, there is a sudden oscillation that means now these winds these trade winds have gone up and because of this high pressure area the wind start going here here like this so on the onset of the monsoon and withdrawal that is how the monsoon enters india and how it is um, leaving india so the duration of monsoon is around 100 to 120 days from early june that is from first june it starts normally to mid september that is around 100 to 120 days and when the monsoon arrives the normal rainfall increases suddenly and this continues uh, constantly for several days and this is known as the burst of the monsoon so when these this is uh, north south east and west 
so when this south southwest monsoon or south west winds they reaches this indian region they at there is a burst of the monsoon that is the rainfall increases rapidly so it proceed proceeds in two direction that is in this one direction which is the arabian sea direction and the other is the bay of bengal direction this is the bengal of bay of bengal direction or you can say branch so this arabian sea branch reaches mumbai here uh, after 10 days that is around 10th june it reaches here the bay of bengal branch also advances rapidly in this direction it arrives at this place that is the assam in the first week of the june and the withdrawal this is how it reaches the withdrawal of the monsoon begins in the north this north west of this is north this is west so it starts from here it starts from here so this is north west north western states of india by early september and by mid october this monsoon withdraws itself completely from the northern half of the peninsula this is the peninsula region so northern half it comes out by mid october so this is what we were talking about the monsoons are experienced in the tropical area roughly between 20 degree north to 20 degree south this is the equator and what are the mechanism this there is a differential heating and cooling there is shift of itcz which we just saw uh, already then there is a high pressure area in the east of Magad madagascar around 20 degree uh, the south latitude and there is a position of high pressure here so the air start uh, moving from this side to this side that is the wind and then this tibetan plateau gets quite heated and because of this this there is a low pressure area here and the movement of the westerly these westerly streams uh, or to the north of himalaya these are the westerly streams jet streams and then the we have this tropical easterly jet streams over the indian peninsula during the summer so let me tell you again about this itcz because this is some sometime asked the intertropical convergence zone itcz is a broad trough of low pressure in equatorial latitudes and this is where the northeast and the south east trade winds converge and this converge gen zone lies more or less parallel to the equator but it shifts so it moves north and south with the apparent movement of the sun so this is how things happen there is one more thing which is uh, which we need to understand and this is el nino so what is this el nino this el nino see what happens we have to start here there is a periodic change in the pressure in different uh, oceans and this is known as this condition is known as southern oscillation or spo now the difference in the uh, pressure say over tahiti and uh, this is uh, in the pacific ocean 80 degree south and 149 degree west and darwin this is at australia so these are the two places this australia indian ocean 12 uh, and a half degree south and 131 east so these are the latitude longitudes of two places tahiti and darwin so these places the pressure are being computed and the difference of the pressure if it is negative that is the pressure difference if it is negative then we can say that the monsoon is not coming good it is late and it is will it will be average now this southern oscillation there is one more thing which is associated it is called el nino now el nino means what where when there is a warm current that there is a phenomena in which a warm ocean current that flows past the peruvian coast so that we are talking about peru so peruvian coast in place of the cold peruvian current every 2 to 5 years so this changes in pressure condition are known as or they are connected to el nino and this phenomena is referred to as enso el nino southern oscillation what i am trying to suggest here is if say this is peru and we in this peru we have a say in 2 to 5 years the warm ocean current these are ocean currents so these are warm ocean currents these are replaced by the cold ocean current every 2 to 5 years and this change is known as el nino this is just because of the southern oscillation or the pressure changing as i experienced you or tell told you about the pressure changes in different region so this is how the you know 100 to 120 100 to 120 days the monsoon will come and there is certain burst of uh, of showers when it comes and first june it reaches here this is the kerala or you can say the malabar uh, ghats 
this is this is the coromandel so we don't get much of the rain in the coromandel region now 5 june it reaches here 10 june it reaches here 15 june like this now first june it reaches here that means this uh, north northwestern state so here we have a lot of uh, in this place we have a lot of uh, um, monsoon rain in showers and if you see cherapunji here and monsiram so monisram these are the places or monisram is the world's world highest rain getting area now coming to the season see there are four main seasons which can be identified in india first is the cold weather season then we have the hot cold weather season then we have the advancing monsoon and then we have the retreating monsoon so what is the cold weather season which is winter but before we i uh, you know go ahead let me tell you that these these are the monsoon winds so these are the monsoon winds which reaches here so when this monsoon wind reaches here there is a ghat we call it as a western ghat so most of the these place gets a lot of lot of rain but this region because this is this region this is not getting lot of rain because these are the mountains and mountains because of pre precipitation uh, the rains happens here and this place remains waterless some water is there so now these uh, these uh, winds they reach here and these this is saurashtra so there is a lot of rain in saurashtra there is a rain here in aravalli range in mount abu also but mount abu and these uh, after this we have aravalli ranges and mount uh, after uh, this uh, mount abu these winds they are parallel to the mountain ranges so they just go like this they just go like this they don't rain here. so they go here and they rain here in the form of the snow but these uh, winds which are bay of bengal re region they enter uh, they enter from inside they come here and they rain so they rain like uh, in this area but by the time it reaches this point means the thar desert area and the gujarat region they are already devoid of or they are not having enough water this is how this thar region and this uh, thar desert and the upper part of the gujarat they are they are not getting that much of rain this region they get a lot of rain because of we have khasi the jaintia garo mountains so we get a lot of rain in fact 400 plus centimeter rain um, is uh, recorded here for an year and specifically in the in the monsoon region uh, monsoon time now when the, it retreats when it retreats it starts from here comes here it retreats so what happens when it retreats it is the air is flowing from this point to this point so they there is not they they is not having uh, enough of water but when this water reaches here in the winter season i am talking about when the, they are retreating so now they have this water this monsoon retreating at or the bay of bengal retreating monsoon it has a lot of water because of this ocean and now it reaches here and now in the winter season there is a lot of rain in this region coromandel region tamil nadu so this is what i wanted to uh, discuss now the seasons we are discussing so the the cold weather season this starts from mid november and stays till uh, the february in northern india the coldest month are december and january in the northern part of india and the hot the hot weather season that is the summer the hot weather season in india ranges from march to may and temperature up to 48 degrees this region 48 degrees celsius are experienced in the northern india if you talk about this peninsular region this peninsular region uh, temperature remain lower due to the moderating influence of this this region this region this region because of the uh, influence of the ocean so this uh, monsoon is affecting a lot everything in this cold weather season as i just said if you go to the coastal coast area it will be moderate temperature that is 24 degree 25 degree while if you go to the cold weather season in the northern plains that is continental type of climate you get 10 to 15 degree celsius the days are warm and the nights are cold again in the cold weather season the days are warm and nights are cold so in this place sometimes you get the frost frost that is tushara path and uh, if you go to higher higher altitudes you will get the snow at this time and during this season the northeast trade winds prevail over the country and they blow from land to sea that is why there is a dry season but as i just said 
that there is rain, rainfall here, rainfall here in the Coromandel region, just because some amount of rainfall occur on the Tamil Nadu coast from these winds as they are blowing from sea to the land. They are coming from sea to the land. So the question may be asked that that why the Tamil Nadu region gets uh, water or the rainfall in the winter season. So this is the reason. In the northern part of the uh, here, this country, there is a very high, uh, feeble high pressure region develops and the light winds move, move towards from this area. And because of their different relief, these winds blow through the Ganga Valley from the west and the northwest. And the weather is normally marked, marked by clear sky, low temperature and low humidity and feeble variable winds. And there is one more characteristic feature of this cold weather uh, which is seen over this uh, northern plains is the inflow of cyclonic disturbances from the west and the northwest. So these are the cyclonic disturbances we talked about it. And these, these low pressure systems originate from the Mediterranean Sea. And these are brought along with the westerly flow jet stream. So they cause the much needed, they, they cause the much needed uh, winter rain over the plains and the snowfall in this mountain here and here. And uh, see, the total amount of uh, winter, fall, winter rainfall here is quite low and locally known here as Mahavat. And this is quite small, but it is very important for the rabi crops here. The rabi crops here. Then the hot weather season we talked about. So because uh, there is a temperature of rise uh, rising. So the this is the uh, you know, monsoon coming. 1 June, 5 June this we already talked about. So let us go to the next part. And we were talking about the second season. So if you see the temperature in the March, it rises up to say 38 degree. Uh, in April, a 38 degree in the Deccan Plateau. In April, temperatures in Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh, it goes up to 42 degree. 42 degree. In May, it may go up to 45 degree. Mostly common in the northern west part of the country. But the peninsula region, because they, we have moderating uh, oceans there, so the temperature remains not that higher. And the summer months, because the temperature is rising, so there is an air pressure which is falling. And towards the end of the May, there is a you know, elongated low pressure area which develops. So Thar Desert in the northern west or northwest and to Patna and Chota Nagpur Plateau in the east and southeast. Circulation of air begins to set around this trough. There is one more striking feature we need to discuss that is Lu. Lu. And these are very strong, gusty, hot and dry winds. And this flow in the northern part of or northern and northern west part of India. And they may continue even in the evening time. If you are direct, directly exposed to these loo, it can be very fatal because it will fetch, take out all the, you can say, humidity from you, moisture from you. Then we have some dust storms also in this period. So in the evening time, there is light rain and cool breeze. And because these violent winds and torrential downpours are going on in this time of the, that is the, you know, is in this season. So in West Bengal, these storms are known as Kal Baisakhi because this time is the time of Baisakhi. And when the summer season are closing, or you can say to the close of summer season, there are pre-monsoon showers in Kerala and Karnataka. And they help in ripening of the mangoes and they, they are known as mango showers. Mango showers. Now of this we have already discussed advancing monsoon, but we'll go up to this. But early June. The trade winds of the southern hemisphere gets attracted to the northern hemisphere due to the creation of low pressure condition there. So we have a low, low pressure condition in this region. Rainfall in the Ganga Valley decreases from rainfall valley decreases from the east to west. Rajasthan and these parts of Gujarat they get scanty or very less rainfall. When the monsoon is retreating, that is the transition period. During October and November, the movement of the sun towards south causes, because now the sun is towards south. This causes trough in the northern plains to become weaker. So here now, the intensity of what all is happening is becoming feeble. By early November, the low pressure conditions here over the north west India, they, they get transferred here to the Bay of Bengal, which causes these cyclonic depressions. 
and this retreating monsoon means when the monsoon is retreating these chakravat or the cyclonic depressions they are and followed by and along with the uh, easterly jet streams here they the easterly easterly jet streams they take these chakravat or cyclonic disturbances to the space and in the retreating monsoon time these are the ghats so all the delta they get heavy, heavy rainfall because of this cyclone this cyclone and even in uh, odisha in uh, kolkata and in bangladesh also you will see that so let us discuss them in some more detail and i said that now the monsoon is uh, advancing so this is the rainy season so we have the southern uh, south west air south east west air or you can say this is say north south east west east east west so this is west south so south western winds they are entering the uh, the our region so now they are uh, actually attracted the the winds which are coming from down the equator they are attracted towards the low pressure re region of the plateau deccan plateau so now they are coming from warm oceans so they have lot of uh, uh, rain the winds are quite strong the velocity can be 30 km an hour and there is a, there is an exception of extreme north west we'll talk about that and the inflow of south west monsoon which comes inside india because the uh, ghats western ghats they got very heavy rainfall these ghats they get very heavy rainfall because these are mountains here and they may get the around 250 cm which is quite high rainfall the deccan plateau and madhya pradesh parts of they they receive less rainfall because they are rain shadow area these are the rain shadow area and the maximum rainfall in this season is at in this region northern eastern part of the country so we have mohsin ram mohsin ram this this receives the highest rainfall in the world right and the again the rainfall in the ganga valley decreases from east to west rajasthan and gujarat they get very less rainfall so there is one more concept that is the break in the rainfall so you might assume that when the airs are air is coming and they are having moisture why why can't they are they rain for every time so it it should be rain for every time but this doesn't happen because of various things which are happening because of the easterly jet because of the change in the in the temperature pressure condition these these uh, you can say center of the monsoon it changes when it reaches here it there is a rainfall here when it reaches here there are the cyclonic disturbances so it re, it changes the position that is why sometimes it may rain here sometimes it may not rain here that is how there are breaks breaks in the monsoon so sometimes you find there is a lot of uh, rain and it causes the rivers to overflow and the floods will occur sometimes there are places where will, there will be drought in this uh, lower part of uh, maharashtra and this region there are drought like situation so the monsoon is not that much that that it will rain forever there there are breaks in the monsoon also so this is now the retreating monsoon first december see it starts from this uh, you know 15 september 1 october 15 october 1 november 15 november 1 december and 15 december so this is how it retreats now it is retreating in this direction in this direction and in this direction in this direction so this monsoon comes with a different type of uh, you can say uncertainties it is not that it will always rain or it will uh, not rain it rains sometimes it will sometimes it will not and when we talk about the retreating monsoon we just saw the retreating retreating monsoon that is the transition season during october and november because of the apparent apparent movement of the sun towards the towards the south now the pressure which is low pressure area it becomes weaker so now the the direction of wind will change right so the month of october november form a period of transition from now hot rainy season to dry winter conditions and this retreat of monsoon is marked by clear skies and rise in temperature and this mohsin ram as we just su suggested the wettest place on the earth is also reputed for its uh, stalagmite and stalactite caves so day temperatures are high nights are cool and pleasant and the lands are moist so when the lands are moist if you see the land is moist and there is the temperature 
so we there is a cause there is this causes the humidity lot of humidity and this humidity is known as october heat october heat now the lower pressure conditions over the northwestern uh, india it get transferred to the the bay of bengal that is this region you know this bay of bengal region and this bay of bengal region because uh, because the cyclonic depressions are there the shift is associated with the occurrence of uh, cyclonic depression which originate here the andaman sea and these cyclones they generally cross this eastern coast of india and they cause heavy and widespread rain so these tropical cyclones chakravat they are very destructive and these are all delta region which are thickly populated the delta of godavari and krishna and kaveri these are always struck by uh, the cyclones and there is loss of property and life sometimes these cyclones arrives at coast of this odisha also and here the bangladesh uh, west bengal west bangladesh and west bengal and the bulk of the this koromandal that is tamil nadu region the bulk of the rainfall of the koromandal coast is derived from the depression of these these cyclones only and there is a quite of distribution of uh, rainfall if you see that some some place we find in india 400 cm rain is falling somewhere it is less than 60 cm in western rajasthan and in gujarat haryana punjab so rainfall is equally low in the interior of deccan plateau and east and of the sahyadris sahyadris is another name for the western ghats of upper western ghats this is because they are in the other side of the mountain that is why they are getting less less rain then third area of low precipitation is around leh leh region in jammu and kashmir it is actually the cold desert because it is lying between two mountains so the the air cannot reach the monsoon air cannot reach and the rest of the country they get moderate rainfall so Snow, snowfall is restricted to himalayan region only so there is called kind of variability in the in the monsoon region also right the monsoon as a unifying bond see there is a great diversity in the climatic condition due to location extent and relief features so these mountain monsoon winds bind the whole country by providing the water to set the agriculture activities in motion every one of us every one of us because in the india is a vast country uh, located in different latitudes and longitudes so but the things which which uh, bind us is the monsoon we eagerly wait for this monsoon to come and there is a seasonal alterna alteration because of this monsoon and this monsoon is giving us all the water for agriculture activities for industrial activities and even for us to uh, drink water then the rivers are getting water from the monsoon and the himalayan ranges they are getting snow from the mountain mountain or snow from the monsoon in the mountain so this is a kind of everything revolves around the monsoon all the festivities and etc they revolves around the mount, the monsoon that is why it is a unifying bond so let me tell you about this also see this dark blue means the rainfall is about 400 400 cm so this is the region we were talking about this is the region these are the rainfall above 400 cent, 400 so monsoon ram is here only then we have 200 to 400 so this is the region for 200 to 400 cm this is the region garo jantia khasi he is here and these are the western ghats lot of this these um, you know monsoon rains are occurring here only burst of um, burst of monsoon then this region these region they are getting all these moderate moderate kind of these are all moderate uh, rainfall here but this region these are the regions where we get very less very less rainfall see these are very less rainfall very less rainfall and here we have the cold desert so again very less rainfall so this is all which is happening because of the rain sometimes chennai is submerged sometimes mumbai will get submerged the kashmir will get freeze all these are the outcomes of various season climate and weather conditions of india so this is again i am telling you that the monsoon is a binding force for every one of us